ultramarine waterfall? <gasps> what? Where? Where? How? How are you gonna call this ultramarine waterfall? What? <laughs> Who does that? Ultramarine waterfall. Blister. And well aimed at that. Must be one of Sir Leonard's from out of Melv. Dude, this game has already given so many quality moments. <laughs> this will be a right mess to clean up. Who knew there'd be a cavern around here? Is Ko high today? I am so high right now on Dragon's Dogma 2. I am. Very much so. No, I'm just I'm really enjoying this so far. This is this has been pretty great. Salubrious drought. While exploring the wilderness, you will come across a wide variety of materials that can be gathered. Some have uses of their own, but you can also combine materials to create items with beneficial effects that are greater than the sum of their parts. Okay. Uh, there are the skills. Use weapon skill, hold down now. B. Uh, grabbing smaller foes. If a smaller foe is flinching or knocked prone, you can pick them up by pressing RT or pin them down by pressing RT while jumping on them. Interesting. So if you jump and grab, it will pin them down. Was that in the first one? I don't remember doing that at all if it was. <clears throat> So it looks like we have officially unlocked looting. So we're going to keep our eyes out for that. Is this game maxed out? I currently have my graphics pretty maxed out. Yes. I selected Ultra and then went through and, and turned Where everything exactly up that I could. Jail you say you from anyway? I've never heard of also, for those wondering, I'm using a controller. <clears throat> There's certainly not like that here in Burm. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from the Tal ever since the war. It is diff Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. All right. Did I try mouse and keyboard? Not yet, but real quick, I will. Here, this is mouse and keyboard. Standard Wasp feels good. Oh, the new inventory system. Wow, it's almost a little Resident evil -y. Um, So how do we... Okay, shift combines. You can combine two materials to create new items. G optimizes? Or we that, that took us to the crafting area. Okay, interesting. What is optimize? Oh, oh, sorting. It's a weird word for that. Um, So how do I set something as a hotkey? What's X do? changes it. So, own equipment? There's an auto equip. Okay. Well, it's got to be in here. I think I'm missing something. Um, maybe press the number while hovering over it? No. No, it's not it. It's a good idea, but that's not it. I feel like I, I feel like I'm missing something very obvious here. <laughs> as as the huge. Okay. Oh don't oh we don't really have like the items thing yet. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, so let's just keep going for now. Maybe we haven't unlocked it or something. I don't know. Uh, we're going this way. Try to do too many things too early. Where do you think you're going? You Fine. Goblins. Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Oh, I can't. Is there any kind of auto targeting? Buy the cure or have a bit of green. When one of the fiends comes, let's guard or dodge. Let's shoot the sword on the morrow. 
Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive Make use of the slow. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Dang, dude, this guy's telling me all sorts of stuff. Avoid guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Okay, avoid guarded attacks. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. DD2. Shut up. To be scavenged from the bodies of monsters. Oh, I put that on my. Ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Great. Uh, by the way, quick note for any of you, uh, you awesome Kovatar users, uh, you may be getting some Dragon's Dogma 2 Kovatar cosmetics right now. Just throwing that out there. Uh, mods, if we could update the drops command for that, please. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Great. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Examine. Examine. Ooh, looting is super quick. Also, they apparently really like apples. Yeah, everything is super quick. Like, I love how you can run and loot. And apparently there's like no animation. Where do you think you're Dude, shut up. I'm looting. I'm getting tired of you. There's stuff over here and I need it. Alright, where'd my mans go? Mans! Oh, what are these? Ooh. Hey, Curdy, what's up? <laughs> Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Oh, Swift Step is RB. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good morning, Co Chat and Live Co. Hi, how are you? Can I hit these and then loot them? No, okay. I'm right, following you, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Falls off a griffin. Guy wants some info. Guy collects everything in the world before they make it to- OW! Yes. Oh, wait. Did I throw him? I don't think I threw him in time. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Wow, I got wrecked. When was the last save? So apparently that little dodge thing does not give you iframes. I was like, let me just dodge out of this hit right here. But then like while he was moving, he got cut in the face. So that's a thing. Oh, it's saved right here. Nice save. Beautiful. Also, there doesn't there doesn't appear to be any kind of target locking. I don't think was there in the first one? No, yeah, okay. All right, so let's figure this out. Um, so we haven't gotten any tutorials yet on like how to use items or how to heal and, and everything, but I know we can do it. I think it's the... There's Salubrious Draught and Harspud in the bottom left. When I hold down... Let's see. Okay. So I hit this. Did it auto-use without any animation? No, it doesn't seem to be using it. Yeah, I'm like hitting the buttons for them, but they're not using. I'm missing something here. Go to items menu. Okay. Um, I can't use anything to get health back? Oh, I'm at 407, 407. What's the green bar? What is the green bar and why isn't it full? 
Is that, oh, that's health dots from the death. Ah, okay, there was a confusion. Okay, that's that's from the that's from the death. Gotcha. Uh, these wield their daggers with speed and ruthless efficiency, unleashing a fury of deadly blows. The one moment and stepping nimbly out of the enemy's reach in the next, knowing when to strike and when to slip away is key to their strategy. And thieves can little afford to be weighed down with heavy armor, leaving them vulnerable to attack. We dodge with RB, swift step. Follow up attacks on pin down foes. Interesting. Okay. Holding down while activating Twin Fangs allows you to cling to larger enemies on a successful hit. Holding down? Like, down on my controller or holding down Y? Once you have your daggers in them, you'll... Okay, no, no, I think that just means holding down Y. When you land an attack using Y, it will change to a powerful successive strike if the target is knocked down or off balance or the target is not expecting the attack. Powerful successive strikes should be carefully aimed as they leave you vulnerable. Carefully aimed. Okay. <laughs> Dang. There's like there's like a lot to this. Alright. <clears throat> be skin. I just looted a whole lot of skin. Where do you think you're going? I'm going you to loot these berries, off, and no? you're gonna shut up and deal with it. Right. Get me some cranberries. Gonna make me some juice when I get back. Mm. Make me a smoothie. What is that? Mm. Alright. Dunk. Almost landed on his head. Where are you going? I'll not force I'm you going to receive treatment, here. but I'd at least like a word. I looted some goblin horns. Do goblin have horn? Oh. <clears throat> that was like that Futurama episode. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. <laughs> what did you do to my computer, girl? What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Thanks, Pawn Lady. <clears throat> Before you stands a Riftstone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. But I want Rook back. <laughs> I want I want Rook. I just, oh, perfect. We're gonna call her Granny. And she's gonna serve us treats and heal us. Should we do that? Should we make a pawn named Granny? She's just a, an amazing healer that takes care of us and tucks us in in the evening. Kinda wanna do that now. Hmm. I'm trying to go like, by like face type. No, these are all like. No. Nah. Um, You're looking a bit dry. Thank you, Amelia. I am. I am. Uh, Susan, if we could pause it, that'd be great. Thank you. Some of the hair does not do some of these people favors. Sure. 
We're gonna make, we're gonna make, uh, it's probably gonna be uh, a little Lena pawn. And she is gonna be, I don't know if I wanna make her a super mage or a super healer. What do you guys think, chat? Oh God. <clears throat> Both? Okay. How did it come for Amelia Tyler to narrate Ko's health activities? Uh, Amelia Tyler was amazing, including a lot of other voiceover actors that have made custom notifications for our channel. So Amelia Tyler uh, made some custom notifications. Uh, Elias Tefexis, Adam Jensen from Day Sex. We also have Wayne June on there, the narrator from uh, Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we've got Greg Chun, who's in Yakuza and numerous other things. Doug Cockle, who's the voice of The Witcher, is in there as well. So there's there's uh, there's a, a lot of amazing notifications <laughs> that people did for the channel. Did I pay for the voiceovers? Uh, some of them. Yep, some of them were paid for, and some of them were were donated. Mm -hmm. Something looks weird about a proportions, but I can't really put my. There we go. Okay, great. <clears throat> that fixed it. Um, no, let's see. That looks really strange. There's like no change between zero and default. I think that's just fine. The shape? Oh, okay. Man, they really, wow, okay. <clears throat> Okay. It's good. I think it's fine where it is. You can have pancakes or oranges, says Curry. <laughs> That's what is this going to be? Uh, let's do brown hair. Uh, who am I making? Oh, I'm just I'm just throwing a, a generic lady together. Probably call her Lena. I, I I'm, there's no way I'm going to try to actually make my wife in this because that would take me like a year and it would look nothing like her. Let's be real. <clears throat> so we're just making generic lady 01. <laughs> Oh, that's it. <laughs> Call her the egg. <laughs> Egg's gonna get you. Um, that's pretty good. I like that. I like that. Looks good on her. Give her some frosted tips. Um, let's make her eyebrows not look like she wants to murder us. That's better. Oh, that looks good. I like that. Oh, what is this? Oh, eyeshadow and stuff? Oh, that's kind of cool. Give her, give her like Meiji looks. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> so, hey, what do you think about that new drama on Twitch? Oh, I know. I feel the same way. Okay. <clears throat> Just fine. Oh, look, it's the new Twitch meta. Oh, wait, no, you can see. Okay, well, that didn't work. Um, I, Wait, I can't give her a beard? What is this? Somebody said, what drama? I, I was not being serious. But I mean, there's always Twitch drama. So, you know, just throw a rock in any direction, you'll hit some. But no, I didn't I didn't mean any specific drama. Just general drama. You know. uh, okay. Vocation. Make her a mage. 
inclination, kind-hearted, favors defense and evasion, enjoys exploring and gathering items and is always up for a challenge, enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head on with during assaults. So I have to decide, do I want to make her my healer or do I want to make her my attack mage? An item collector? I think I'll be collecting most of the items. So I don't, I don't think we need to set her as simple because I, I feel like I'll collect most of the items. I'm gonna go with healer. I'm gonna make her kind-hearted. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. For them. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. Yeah, like that one. There we go. Do I get to name her? Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, damn. That's kinda it's kinda rude. <laughs> she is pawn, and will always henceforth be known as pawn. Um oh, okay. Do they actually have Elena? I doubt it. No, what about an Elena? Oh, really? Um, call her Larry. <laughs> what about Lane? Like nothing? No? Layla? I guess? <laughs> okay, close enough. Um, I mean, if you're kind of drunk, it's... That kind of sounds the same, right? Okay. <clears throat> Oh, I love we come over here. Yeah, Thorns no, that'll work. That'll work fine. You just gotta be rift. drunk all the time. For we are able to connect <clears throat> to and traverse other realms beyond this one. Great. Right. Okay. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn. Aye. And aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. Did Rook come back too? You truly are the Arisen then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. Fie. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Nope. Mayhap you could make for Melv then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. I have to admit, this is... Knowing the first game and how it functioned, it feels kind of weird playing this game and not being able to ask chat like, hey, where's this quest? And what order do I have to do this in? And am I gonna miss this quest if I keep moving? Like, no one knows the answer to these questions. <laughs> oh God. Hail, Arisen. Um, <laughs> Pray, ask all you wish to know. Chat, help. <laughs> I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Okay. Tell me the pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Oh. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. Okay. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. That's so weird. We merely do as we are commanded. That has always been so, just so strange about the pawns. Tell me the Riftstones. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. Okay. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. What do you do in your world? You just sit around and like, wait to be summoned? Tell me the Arisen. Tis the name given to fates chosen. 
those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Just says drops aren't on. No, so we are doing Kovatar drops, which is our own in-channel system. Yep. So if you go to Kovatars.com, you can see your, you can, you can make your own Kovatar. Like if I click on some people in chat, you'll see they have that cool little Kovatar right there in the bottom right. Um, and what we do is we have special equipment you can put on yours from Dragon's Dogma. So I think we have a mage set and a warrior set. So you can actually customize your little person to look like armor from the game. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. No, it's not on mobile, but it will be on mobile in 10 days. Our, our, our prototype mobile update. So you can make your Kovatar on mobile for all your YouTube people. Um, it's coming to the mobile app soon. And that's the mobile app if you want it. It's free, no ads, all that fun stuff. Yeah, it's just, just to be part of the channel. But you'll be able to soon customize your Kovatar there if you want to. Okay, let's go. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Let's do it. Okay, so did I get Rook? Can I... Can I get Rook? Whoa. Whoa. It's a you, Wario! <laughs> Um, okay, so I need, oh, okay. Oh. Oh, interesting, just pawn codes. Okay, so I need, I need a... I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer yes. combat's thrills to gather... Oh, fire. good. I see the Arisen's found some... Pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the Arisen who... Oh, this is awesome. So, um, somebody linked me, like, a, a few lines out of a review and they were like, you're going to love this. So what you can do is you can assign a quest for your pawn... And then when other people take them, they can fulfill the quest and bring the item back to you for the reward. So in the line that I read, somebody wanted more carry weight on their main character. And there's this certain item called a golden beetle or something. So he set his pawn quest to say, if you leave a golden beetle on my pawn, he'll give you gold for it. And then everyone who used his pawn, they would see that quest. And if they had a golden beetle, they could buy it. And then the pawn would take it back to him and bring the money back to that guy. So it's like, you if you ever need rare stuff or looking for rare items, you can use your pawn kind of like a, a shop almost, uh, a buy order thing, which is really cool. Yeah, that's, that is, that is fun. I like that. Uh, so did we actually hire you? Me thinks we've earned a brief repose. Yes, okay, so we're, we're good. So I, now I need like a, let's get like an archer. We'll get, we'll get Kira here. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hey girl, how are you? Pawn quest, travel together for a day and night, and they will give us a wake shown star, a shard. Cool. Okay. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. All right. Did this game just turn into Ko's Angels? Yes, it did. Oh, there we can set our pawn quest. Okay, cool. let's go. All right, so looking at our map, do I have a city map? Make for Melv. Okay. Where is Melv? Let's go to the map. Ah, here we go. Border Watch Commissary. Border Watch Training Grounds. Border Watch Lounge. So, return to world map? Oh. What? Oh, cursor jump. Um. What the deuce? So wait, where? Oh, oh, th is this? What? Where do I want to go? Is that where I want to go? Is that Melv? Maybe. Oh, I see. So yeah, I want to take like this. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Great. The map is a little, like, I, I wasn't super intuitive what was going on at first, but this is where we started the game. That's all the area we've uncovered. Man, this map is big. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this map is, I just, I just connected all the dots here. Oh, man. Woo! Okay. I'd rather not draw steel if what did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. I'll give him that. Expedition, sword drills. Say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Say, you look experienced. You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. Oh, I don't think this right now. Oh. Thanks, bro. Okay. 